Hello, let me show you how you can create Prime UI themes directly from Figma. We already have this feature in the current designer where um, you have to uh, make your changes, of course, export a JSON file called tokens.json and feed it to the theme designer. Then the, fee uh, the theme designer will be able to interpret that and uh, create your theme. But it quickly becomes tedious, right? And you because you have to manually export and manually import upload the same file over and over again it becomes really tedious especially in active development cycles so we have provided a way to automate that using a ci pipeline i will use prime ng but it is also available for prime view right now and hopefully in the other prime UI libraries so so first uh, let me show you the guide uh, we are supporting github uh, with an official marketplace github action and we also provide examples for GitLab and Bitbucket as well. The idea is simple. Uh, using Token Studio, you make your changes, you push to your GitHub. You first need to sync your Figma with, uh, with your repository by defining a provider. In this case, in this example, I will use GitHub since we already have an official uh, action for that. And once you make your changes and push to GitHub, the GitHub action uh, triggers and gets the changes for tokens JSON, send it to the theme designer, which we have a new uh, public API, which, I mean, you can already also create the sample integrations using this API, but the built-in GitHub action in the marketplace sends it to the designer, retrieves the theme and commits to your repository. So there's no handoff, everything is automated and you can further improve this in your CI pipeline. So let's begin. First thing first, let's download uh, Figma UI kit. I have my workspace here. Let's download it. First, I need to go to the Figma UI kit and download it here. All right, now I have downloaded the file and then I can just um, move the file from my downloads to here. Uh, let's create a new project first maybe just direct the work on it okay now it's opening up uh, in the meantime we need a secret key we can generate it let me show you the project i have right now this is my sample project that we will use prime ng github quick start and this is the project we have a couple of charts and buttons and inputs now we are going to customize the theme from Figma and push it to this repository. Okay, the import is done. Now, the first thing first is we need to open up this design and bind a Git provider, let's say sync provider, because uh, the tokens are um, persisted at uh, local storage. Now, if you pull up, for example, here, Figma Token Studio. Now it fires up. Now I, you're, you're, you're able to see all the tokens here. There is a section where in the settings, go to first let me unbind it because I had it in my previous project. Add new sync provider, choose GitHub. Uh, test project, let's say. Personal access token should be available at somewhere here in your settings. Personal access tokens, developer settings, and tokens classic or fine grained. So something like this. Now you can create a new token and bind that value here. I'm adding my token here. The repository is my own and prime ng quick start. Branch is default main. The token storage is where the tokens JSON file will be synced. And that's it. That's, uh, I think it's main, sorry. Let's see. Now initiate tokens. Now it's sending all the tokens to the GitHub. All right. 
And now we will see if this integration works by checking out this one. Okay, tokens JSON is here, and I should be able to pull it and see it here as well. Tokens JSON. So this part is working. We are able to push changes from Figma directly to our repository. Now the second part. This is the fun part. In our GitHub workflows, we have this. So let me show it from this one. Um, in the GitHub example, we have Figma to theme code generator. This is uh, the official action from uh, Prime Tech. Now let's copy this one and create a new file. Okay, now it says whenever uh, we are pushing the tokens JSON, go and execute this action, which will just send it to the designer and then come back. The theme name is Acme. Uh, these are the defaults for the preview mode because we will be able to preview this theme in the live, uh, you know, theme designer. Those are the settings for the, they are optional. Let's set the project to prime ng. This is the token. Now I'm going to set it to source app folder then i will be able to import it so this is my file notice that there's a secret key this is if you have a designer subscription you will be able to uh, uh, create the secret key on the extended tier so uh, let's go to the store get our key from here okay now i have copied my key uh, those are uh, you know um, private information so i have to skip those parts but now I can go to my repository and go to the settings, um, secrets and variables, actions, new repository secret, and we can pass copy and paste. Uh, the value should be this one, secrets. For example, it, it can be anything, but that's for the example purposes there. Now my secret is defined. I will. I should be able to configure my theme. Let's see what we will have now, and let's try to create our theme from Figma, and go to let's say the tokens. For example, um, if you check out the application, it was something like this with the green. This customize all the primary colors. You can. It's in the semantic layer with the. Um, with the primary. You can do it manually with edit token. For example, let's bind it to any color or we can just use one of the um, existing colors. Let's make it indigo, for example, indigo 50. Um, I need to change 10 of them, so I will probably use this method with JSON directly. And more so I'm changing my tokens and the Figma will be updated as well okay so the primaries are now indigo color now let's push uh, to github changed primary now which it should let's see what will happen here Let's go to the actions. Our action should run here. Uh, I, of course, I forgot to commit my workflow. Add action. OK, now the action is committed. The application is already running, by the way. Let me just stop it for now. And since I pushed uh, before committing the uh, action, let's try to change something like this. Uh, like, let's say, the, from, from the primitives, let's do a small change. Just change the emerald color to trigger a push. Updated emerald 50 push. OK, 
Okay, now let's see the action. These are my previous actions updated ML50. So this now sends the JSON to um, Team Designer API and we are expecting our theme here somewhere in the distributed output directory source app ACMA theme. Okay, now let's try to pull this. The theme has arrived here, ACMA theme. Let me configure that instead of Aura. I will use this one. All right, let's run it. Sorry. Serve. Okay, now it's using indigo colors here and there. And the nice trick would be if we go to the Figma again, and for example, just change the primary here. Let's say let's only change uh, the primary 500, or let's let's go let's make everything pink to make sure it works. Let's do it one more time. On the JSON. Of course, everything is tokenized, so you can create update spaces, paddings, fonts, everything, and even you can you are able to create custom tokens. Okay, now let's save it, push it back uh, primary to pink. Pushes the GitHub generates the theme, everything is updated. Now let's see our action. Primary to pink. All right, let's go to the application. Let me pull this. And now everything in the application instantly goes pink. Also, another nice thing is that you are able to preview this theme entirely on the Prime showcases. For example, let's go to Prime NG, sign in with your uh, license key to the designer. Let's check out uh, this theme. And now you are able to see this theme in action, like the buttons and things like that. So Figma to designer, and uh, you can also use this uh, for preview purposes. So let's also check, for example, Prime View, since everything is integrated. You can also see the same theme on the view and hopefully in the future Prime products. So to summarize, we, uh, this is an automated um, feature for CI pipelines. You, your product designers can change themes on the fly and everything uh, will be integrated, the theme uh, J tokens JSON data will be sent to the GitHub repository. There are GitHub actions, Git or Bitbucket, everything is there. You can just uh, use that examples. The action picks it up, sends to the designer, retrieves the theme, and then commits to the um, repository. And then you can just build more uh, pipelines for that. And let's check out ACMA team. So this is for Prime NG. Uh, this is a regular team where you can, if you go, you can go find great customizations for components. You can remove the components that you don't use for smaller bundle size and things like that. Uh, but if you can see that this base, uh, the primitives, they are generated like this. So uh, you may even say this file is generated, don't touch and things like that. Okay, thank you for joining me. See you on the upcoming new exciting features as usual. Thank you.